so this servo thing uh this is like you know the setup you will eventually have uh so i've got i've got a board uh and i've connected my servo uh to to my board so that that's the servo you know um, the space here is a very limited so i'm just trying to show you everything so the program i have written is that when my uh micro uh, when my husky lens will recognize that red bus it will put the servo in one direction and if it recognizes anything else the servo will be in like whatever zero degree and 180 degree okay and when the bus is not recognized my micro bit will show a cross and when the bus is recognized my micro bit will show a heart okay uh, so everything is being controlled via the micro bit the servo and the sign so if i take my uh and i point it here and it recognizes as bus the servo moves and you can see the star on a uh, heart on my micro bit and if i uh change it so now the micro bit um, the husky lens can't see the bus so it's a cross here and I don't remember if the servo moved or not, but the servo should move. Uh, so, so when it sees the bus, the servo moves and it shows the star uh, heart. The problem is that you know it's if it's if it's holding the bus ID one steady, then everything is fine. You can see the heart and you can see the uh, servo is in one direction. And if I say it can't see, then it's a cross here and the servo should also come all the way to the other whatever zero degree so i'm saying this is what uh, uh, i'm hoping you will be able to do uh, and all that, that matters here is on your whichever board you are using where is the servo connected so in smart flex it may not be pin 0 it may be some other pin so you will have to check on the board but uh, if you are using a breakout board like i am using it's just a generic board so I have taken the servo pin and I have put it on pin zero. So I'm using pin zero. So it depends on, you know, how you will wire it. But all I'm saying is that uh, inside this, once it recognizes something and it doesn't matter if it's face or object or color, whatever, once it recognizes it, then you can put a conditional statement and inside the conditional statement, you can put whatever you like. So you can light up some LED, you can show some uh, something on, on the micro bit, you can add a servo, you can add a geared DC motor. Uh, if you're adding a geared DC motor, like I said, whichever pins you are putting it on, let's say pin 14 and 15, then all you have to do is go here and say digital write and you know choose the pin. So let's say pin 14 and duplicate it uh, and pin 15 and you make one pin high, one pin low, and your motor will start working. So I'm saying this is this is all that there is to Husky Lens. It works the same way. You will have you will in Microbit you will initialize it. You will uh, you know uh, select the right program, and all this is servo related. And then you will save the data. You will check ID one, ID two, ID three, whichever one you you want to check. And in the conditional statement, whatever you will put that will get executed okay so that is all i mean all the six seven other than the line following one so line following one is slightly different the line tracking i'm not covering that but the others are all the same all the same okay and now what i'm showing you is that uh uh i hope you've got a little comfortable using husky lens and micro bit and if you have then all you have to do is you know, so so what you can do is you can go on uh, Google and just say Husky Lens Wiki. Just search for Husky Lens Wiki. And then you will get DF Robot is the company that makes Husky Lens. And they have a whole Wikipedia here. So all of them are here. So how do you connect? What's the firmware update? All these things. And then like you can Google, it will tell you, you know, where, which pins to connect, how, uh, uh, et cetera. Uh, how it works all these things are here and then i'm saying like face recognition so you can straight jump to face recognition it's showing you how how to uh how to make it work okay 
uh, and like that. So face ID one, face, 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 whatever. And then you can select something else. So let's say, uh, so we haven't done object tracking. Object tracking, not only does it recognize that object, if it moves on the screen, uh, it will track the object, okay? It will show the coordinates, okay? Uh, so anyway, I'm, I'm maybe tomorrow we can look at object tracking in the morning when we, uh, uh, when we meet again. But if you want, you can try any of this. So, you know, whatever color recognition and tag recognition, like I said, it recognizes these tags. Okay. These are called April tags. So it recognizes only these tags and each one of them is individually a, a, a tag. Okay. So again, uh, let me show you how to use this. So if I go back to my channel, YouTube, Kalatit Kaushal shorts, then I'm saying this is a video where it's following the black line and based on the tag, the servo will work. It will pick up the stuff. It will go. So what I'd done was I printed out, you know, these tags. So each one of them individually is a tag. And then, you know, you can just print out and, uh, and, and do the programming. So all I can say, and these tags, uh, you know, Husky Lens recognizes them very well. Uh, so it's very easy to use the tags. So I can take print out of two different tags. Like I've got two different tags here. So, uh, uh, so I can say, if this tag is recognized, do something. If this tag is recognized, do something else like that. Uh, so I'm saying that uh, you can use color and all, but tags are very accurate. So you can try any of these things and then, you know, uh, there is tag recognition and a uh, lot of, so, so I'm saying in the wiki, uh, in Husky Lens Wikipedia, uh, you can, you know, uh, you can see a detailed explanation. And then if you go to DF robot website, so dfrobot.com and you click on education, uh, here, then they have many, many projects for all their products. So we are using uh, Husky Lens. Uh, so uh, uh, where is Husky Lens? Uh, oh, platform and Husky Lens. So here I'm saying you will also get many project ideas. So And they've given detailed explanation for each one of them. So how can you make some smart ticketing or whatever? lane changing or, you know, whatever safety helmet. So this is same as mask, uh, safety helmet. So I'm saying that, uh, you can use there, there, they have also done a nice one. This is the color piano. So it sees the color and it'll play some note, you know, uh, make code has a very easy one to play different notes, ABC, whatever. So all these you can, you can see. Okay. Um, they've got, and they have got more complicated projects also. So I'm just saying that later on, when you go back to school and you are looking for projects for students, then uh, this is another uh, possibility. And finally, uh, if you go, um, there are many uh, uh, you know videos online, but what I'm saying is that if you go to my channel, uh, so I have both uh, English channel where I'm uploading these videos, which I'm sharing with you. But I don't do so that much work on the English channel because there's already a lot of content in English. I make my videos mainly in Hindi. But the good thing now is that whatever I am doing today and tomorrow, I have already made all these projects in uh, in Hindi. Okay, uh, so all of them. So if you go scroll down, you will see all Husky Lens projects are here. Uh, so th this is what we will do tomorrow. Okay, this uh nano arduino nano ble 33 this we'll do tomorrow so i'm saying i already have those videos here but here i've got these husky lens 
So this is the dog house project that I was telling you. Uh, this is the face mask uh, project. Okay. So all these projects are already there. Okay. So I'd made this one, which was like a surveillance system. In this, uh, you know, uh, the story is that uh, bank robbers are running away in a particular, uh, in, a, in a car. And the Husky lens will not only recognize uh, uh, the car, it will also follow it. Okay. So if you can see, it sees the object and it even tracks the object and it keeps giving the coordinates of the object. So I was just showing in this video that how uh, in today's world, actually security systems work like this. They can identify, they can even predict the trajectory of that object. And that is how, you know, like uh, what I was showing here was that uh, you could have a drone uh, chasing this uh, uh, you know, this car. So multiple cars are there. It will recognize the right car and it will, you know, follow the right car. And this is how in real world, you know, surveillance systems are working that, uh, it recognizes the car, uh, 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 and then you can also like have drones and, you know, things like that, uh, targeting that vehicle. Okay. Now, the reason I'm showing you this video is that in YouTube now, if you will go to settings, and if you will go to subtitles, okay, uh, you can actually uh, uh, change the subtitles to English or Tamil, okay? So I'm saying even though the voice that I have is in English, uh, is in Hindi, you can see the subtitle in any language. So I, 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 will en I would encourage you to, you know, view these videos also. So if you get stuck in any of what we have done today or what we will do tomorrow, I'm saying all the video tutorials are there, just that they are in Hindi. Okay. Uh, so that's like, you know, things you can do later. So you can go and visit uh, Husky Lens Wikipedia. You can go to their website and, you know, look at projects to get more ideas. And you can try driving a servo. You can try driving a geared DC motor, making it stop on red, go on green, things like that. And all of that is what you can later on use to make more complex projects like a autonomous vehicle, a driverless vehicle. Okay. So I'm going to stop now. And if you have any questions, then please ask.